Welcome back to the Man United stream. Hope you're doing well. We've got a busy, packed out show for you today. We're talking about news on Ten Hag and how he's been backed by the new owner, Sir Jim Ratcliffe. That 25% minority stake ownership is going to be in his hands soon and he is giving his full backing to Ten Hag. So it looks like Ten Hag will be surviving at Man United and will be left to do his job and make sure Man United qualify for the Champions League. Also in today's show, we're talking about this dramatic swap deal between Anthony and another Brazilian star playing for Flamingo. Is there any truth to that? We'll be discussing that and more in today's show. But before we kick off today's show, please hit that like button on this video so it gets pushed out to lots more people. And if you're new to the Man United stream channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the latest Manchester United news and opinions. So let's kick off today's show with Sir Jim Ratcliffe and how he is very close on taking over that 25% ownership of Man United and will get some say in footballing matters at United. And the first thing that he will be doing is sticking with Eric Ten Hag. Yes, he is rumoured to believe that Eric Ten Hag is the correct manager at Man United and will not be getting rid of him and believes that he will do a good job going forward for United. Now, that will be welcome news for Eric Ten Hag, who has been under a lot of pressure in the last couple of weeks, not getting the results that needed. Obviously, lost against Man City and then Newcastle in the Carabao Cup. And finally, he got a break and Bruno Fernandes got that last-minute goal against Fulham giving Man United the win and you could see you could see the relief on Eric Ten Hag's face he was so happy of the moon with that win against Fulham now they should be beating Fulham every day of the week Fulham have not been playing well and Man United clearly had better players than Fulham in that game and they should be beating them easily but clearly the game against Fulham did not go to plan they struggled to break them down and Fulham if they had a better attack would have scored some goals against Man United but they didn't because they just simply didn't have a good enough attack and Man United were the only team that were looked likely to score and finally they got that breakthrough with Bruno Fernandes stepping up. Now we came on record saying that Bruno Fernandes should not be the captain at Man United. We feel some other players are better suited to take that armband and we still stick by that. Bruno is a top player and we've never said he's not a good player and I think he might actually play better if he doesn't have the pressure of being the captain. Let us know in the comments below whether you agree with that or not. I can see a lot of people commenting that they do not agree with Martinez because Martinez also is very hot-headed and you could see him getting sent off or doing lots of things that a captain should not be doing. So Bruno Fernandes is probably the only choice left. There's other players out there like Casemiro that we've also said that might be ideal but Casemiro has not been playing well and there are reports of him actually coming out with comments about he, how he regrets signing for Man United. I don't know whether those are lost in translation and he didn't actually say that but if that is the case well you cannot give someone like that the armband. So coming back to Eric Ten Hag it looks like that he has got the backing of the new owners coming in at Man United and it looks like a lot of fans have got back behind Eric Ten Hag and believe that he can do a good enough job at Man United. He needs time. We all have to agree that he needs time. He's got lots of injuries to contend with. He's got lots of problems to contend with like Sancho, like Harry Maguire, like even the Greenwood issue. And then there's that big elephant in the room which is the takeover and the Glazers. Of course Ten Hag is going to find it difficult to make sure that his players and himself are focused on what's going on on the pitch rather than off the pitch but it's very hard they must be going home every day after training and they must be reading the headlines about the takeover who's coming in who's not coming in the amount of investment that's going to come into the club of course they are human they will be looking at this and they'll be worried about their future at the club so just moving away from the takeover, hopefully Ten Hag does do a good job and we start winning games. We've got the Champions League game against Copenhagen away from home. Big, big test for Man United and we are hoping that Man United can go out there and win that game and bring back them three crucial points so we can start looking forward to qualifying for the Champions League. It's not going to be easy. We've not made it easy. It's going to be a hard task, but Man United must must do this and get through to the next round. Another player that's coming for a lot of criticism 
pulse the Fulham match is Anthony. Yes, the Brazilian right winger is under a lot of scrutiny by a lot of fans who are saying that he's simply not performing and is not good enough. And in the last 24 hours, we've started hearing rumours that Anthony might be involved in a swap deal with Gabriel Barbosa. He plays for Flamengo in Brazil and we're hearing that Man United just might be tempted to bring in Barbosa instead of Anthony and sending Anthony to Brazil to play for Flamengo. What do you think of that deal? Would you be happy to see someone who we pay £80 million pounds for just leave the club in a swap deal. I personally think we need to give Anthony a bit more time. He does need to improve his performances, but we all know what he's going through personally off the pitch. And of course, that will affect his performances. I think he's come back too early. I think he needed more time away from the club. And I think he would have been given that time if we didn't have all these injuries that we're facing right now. Man United clearly have got problems and they needed a player to come in and Anthony was drafted back in without being given time off to deal with what he's dealing with with his ex-girlfriends and so forth. Let us know in the comments below what you think about this Anthony swap deal. Do you think he should be swapped for another player or do you think we should give Anthony a bit more time and allow him time and space to develop as a good right wing player? He does need to improve and his output is simply not good enough right now. Make sure you hit the like button on this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. You're watching the Man United Stream channel, channel by the fans for the fans.